Well, looks like the old fish barn's got some termites here. I've had three spots where they just exploded and they're flying everywhere. Talk about free fish food. Fish are going nuts. They're loving it. But, gotta watch out for these birds. These birds are trying to snack on them as they go out. See, there's one bird and some birds coming in. It's nature doing its thing. <laughs> You can see them all just flying around everywhere. I mean, I could choose to freak out, but I mean, that's not gonna do anything for me. They're all trying to make their way towards that sunlight. Look at them all just flying out. Oh, count birds are going after it. Ah, get off me. Luckily, they don't bite. Boy, they tickle. And I have been collecting some for some fish food. I wish I had a better bug vacuum. I need a bug vacuum. That'd be perfect. Because these guys would be great snakes. These fish love this. Mmm. Num nums. Go get them. Go get the num nums. Mmm. I should definitely help trigger some breeding. Pretty good wild. Coming out of this wall. I'm actually about to redo this wall with the same material as that. So I'd probably get a good spraying with some termite afterwards. And I think it's seasonal. So we're kind of in the like end of winter, spring, you know, it's only February, but being in Florida, hoping this is just the cycle of them breeding out. We will see, we will see. Cause I don't want to really poison them and then them get into my fish tanks. That would be bad. Look at them go. They're marching on out. So, I mean, they're already out in the wild, so I don't mind if they go out there. That's where they belong. Out there, not in here. What do you think, guy? Good snacks? Look at all these guys just waiting. They are waiting. Their light's not even supposed to be on. I turned it on hoping to draw some of the bugs over to this pond before they escape out of here. You can see them flying around. Do you guys like the little snacks? Mmm, pretty tasty num nums, huh? These guys are enjoying it. Another thing with termites is they really don't eat that much as far as wood goes. It takes them a long time to do so. So hopefully I can fix this issue before it really even matters. Think about this wall anyways, most of it's not supporting. As long as they stay out of these, I'm all right. Out of the big poles. If they get into two by four, it's not as bad. Either way, I have to take care of it. Jeez, always something. There's one of the little birds. They're just at the door. There's probably like four or five of them. If I were to walk, oh, see, there's one. He's brave. There's another one. And they're eating them up. Eat them up. Yo, oh, did you see that catch? My guy. You got skills, my dude. Oh, that is like nothing. Caught him like nothing. That's crazy. Wow. Boom. Go get him. It's all cool if the birds come in as long as they don't freak out and fly around and then start pooping in places. I've had birds in here though before. Whoa, did you see that catch? And uh, they eventually all find their way out. Considering I'm just like right here. These birds are awful brave. Granted, I'm being real still. Christmas, and where's my dog? Where's my dog during this whole time? He said, I'm out of here. Been getting a lot of these ladybugs too. They're everywhere. Which these are not something you want to feed to your fish. These have toxins and stuff. Which I mean, they've gotten in my aquariums, haven't killed anything, but in a mass as far as something to eat. I don't know. I guess some of the water would dilute it and stuff, but not one I would collect for food. Not like the termites. So actually, 
vacuum them up with a regular vacuum. A lot of times they just come in because I've got the door open. Run! And here you can see like termite dirt and stuff. So I had them explode out of here as well. This was the third spot. So I'll be cleaning that up where I can. So hopefully it's just a hatching and release because this is really the first week that I've seen them active since I've had this barn. I've seen the dirt before from redoing areas of the fish barn and seeing the residue around from that wood dirt i was talking about so hopefully after i get everything sprayed let these guys release go outside then i'll spray because once again i don't want to get poisoned bugs in my aquariums that would be way worse than any of all this because like i said they don't eat that much they're just definitely unsightly if this was my house that's a different story but this is a fish room so we'll let them cycle through naturally, let nature take its course, and then we'll figure it out from there and try to play preventative maintenance on the outside, spraying the perimeter and stuff. And I know a lot of you guys are thinking, a lot of aquariums, wood, moisture, not the best as far as keeping termites away. But the humidity really doesn't get that bad. And it was only 40 something yesterday. Going here today, 71. But that's because, as you can see the uh, sky there, there's a chance of rain today. When I say keeping aquariums natural, simple, no filters, just nature, literally all this fish room is just nature. And I keep a lot of fish this way. All these fish, so many different types of fish. Even with shelly colonies breeding in the side, so many different types of fish. You don't need all that fancy equipment. And if you want to know more, check out the channel. Well, one of the birds got in. Now I got birds and bugs. He just sit there chilling. Figure it out, dude. Out the door he go. He's been in here for a while. He's like, where can I make a home? This is such a nice place. Full of food. Get out. I wouldn't keep the bird, but you know, they poop everywhere. Oh, he flew away somewhere. Look at these guys. Look at those red fins. Popping. They're happy. Mugs. Mm, that bird went the wrong way. Not the window guy. Oh, come on, man. Ooh, you yellow finch or something? What is that? It's got a little yellow. Bruh, eat these bugs. You're in the wrong spot. All right, I gotta catch this bird and put it out. Come on, guy. You know, I don't have my gloves. Jeez. It's one of those gloves, good old fish net. Come on, buddy. I'm fishing for birds. I gotta put you guys down. Hold on. Well, I caught him. Oh, get him out. Get a good old Amazonas magazine. Well, thanks, Amazonas magazine. For helping me with this bird catch. Sheesh. Not the video I thought I'd be making today. All right, buddy, go find your buddies. Off he went. I'm just waking up, this is just my day starting. Jeez. And this is about a minute after I caught that bird. Probably about an hour since I first saw these guys coming out. You can see like there's hardly any of them left. There's only like a few left coming through here. It's not all just like going crazy like it was. So it's like they hatch, they all come out, go flying out, which I vacuumed a lot of the other ones up too earlier, just so they didn't like spread around. And then the rest of my day will be fine. So I don't know, it's only happened a couple of times it's happened twice in this spot and twice by the window and only once in the closet. So hopefully it doesn't just like keep continuing. Oh, you see that? Huh? It was like, what's up? Sorry, dude, I don't want to feed you the fish. <laughs> I ain't no Disney princess. Hey, get back here. Dude made it. Freedom, my guy. God looking out for that one. But yeah, anyways, hope this doesn't continue. Let's see what I collected. And yeah, see how they start dropping their wings? What will happen over time is they'll just drop their wings and then they become these kind of termites where they just walk around. They can't fly anymore. It's like they hatch about an hour afterwards. They all lose their wings. Pretty wild. So even if they weren't in the water, they'd be losing their wings. These guys, this tanks is dirty. But if anybody's going to appreciate these bugs, it's going to be these guys. Some good food there, guys. Eat them up. Crap.
another bird. It's gonna be a long day, you guys. Definitely gonna give this to the Glossolepis manculosis. They'll get the rest. Rarest fish in the United States. I'm the only one with them. Waiting for their babies to grow up, get them out to other hobbyists. Kind of crazy, and the pressure was on to breed these things. Hopefully, I'll have a video out for you guys for those. Dang it, now there's two of them. I'm being bombarded. It's not okay. I have to show my door. Dog, there you... Jeez, where you been, dude? Sleeping on the job, man. We've got birds coming in from the front door. He just been playing in the pond. Oh, now you just want belly rubs. It's like that. Jeez. Like, I don't have anything to do. Like, I don't have anything to do. Crazy dog. Get this bird out of here, man. Pay some, do some, do something. It's gonna poop in a box. Fly away. There you go, bird. That way. That way. Man, I bet they're looking for real estate. Barn's not for you, bird. <laughs> you just gonna take a nap, dude? He's not gonna do nothing. He just, uh, anyway. Yeah, I can't even shut that door until I get these guys out. So hopefully not anymore come in. Could you at least take a nap by the door? That would be helpful. No? No? Bro, you're barely with me. Wake up! Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Stretching, who's a good boy? Oh, I spotted one of the oldest killifish ever. This killifish, like seven years old, this thing is a Lamontii, a Pilates Lamontii. He's looking rough, but man, he's still alive. He's gonna run. No, oh, he didn't run. Pilates Lamontii. That dude has been through it all. If you guys remember the Fishocracy series, he was one of the kings running that 125 long with the barbs and the hill trouts. He's still here kicking. Pretty crazy for a killifish. I guess I'll be bird wrestling for the rest of the day. Where you at, bird? Wrestle your way out of here. Get out! Oh, you're so close. The door's right there, dude. Fly down. I don't get birds. Why they can't figure that you... The, just... The door's right there. Come on, man. There you go. Go down. Go down. I guess I might as well open this door, too. Only problem with that is the lizards and the frogs get in, usually, if I had this one open. <laughs> had a little snake coming in, hissing at me one time. It was a little baby water moccasin. Before this rack was here, come in. It's like, what the heck? <sighs> Nature. The fish you guys don't even know I have. The Bouchardi. Some of you guys may know I had it. I wait till these guys breed. They're cool. You finally see them, do you? Maybe I'll have some help after all. You go up and get them. Bark at them or something. Say, -ra 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 -ra. Got them eagle eyes. Focus, Daniel, son. Go help them get out. Hmm? Hmm? At least I know how to find the bird. Yes, bird, you are close. So close. And jump. Just go down, find your bug, waddle your butt right out the door. Anyway, wish me luck. Oh boy. Doggo, I think we're in trouble here. Crap. Ruff, 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 ruff. Ruff. Bark at him. Come on, get them birds out of here, dude. Let's go. Ruff, 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 ruff. <laughs> ruff. Hey, where are you going? Yeah, keep at least keep them out of here. Make sure they don't come in. What are these birds doing? Well, finally got the bird out. Jeez. Well, that was fun. You never know what's gonna happen over here. What would you guys have done in that situation? Let me know in the comments down below. Pretty crazy. And I hope you all are doing well. If not, I hope it gets better for you. Thank you all so much for watching and for the support. I appreciate you all. Till next time, everybody. Peace. Have a great one.